morning welcome to another one so today it's September 10th I believe and we are out here looking for mushrooms so hopefully you know it's fall so we can find anything we're looking for it's gonna be if we find any hen in the woods Montaki it'll be they'll be small uh, looking for herkrum species bear tooth lion's mane uh, probably some oysters, maybe even chicken in the woods. What we have here is a big old forest. It's only 75 acres, 80 acres. I say only, but I mean it's public land, so normally it's you get a thousand acres out of public land. But I have a feeling that I'm probably a day early. It rained Saturday night, Sunday morning. Monday was kind of off and on, cloudy, sunny. Yesterday morning it rained. Yesterday afternoon it was sunny. So maybe we'll find some new groves of something. But like I said, if we find any uh, mataki hen of the woods, they're going to be really tiny. And again, this is public land, and this is... There's a lot of foragers that come through here, so unfortunately, if I find them, they're probably going to be too small. Hopefully, I find one good enough to take. I don't know if I'll be able to come back and get them before they'll get them or not, but we'll try. So, hopefully, find something and I'll let you know. Okay, walking through the woods, I look up, and we score. Got a nice score of oyster, oysters here. Pretty good amount. Not a lot, I mean... It's not a lot. I'll show you right now. These are the ones that interest me the most. These are nice, young, tender, delicious. There's a few bugs in some of them. These are just a little, I mean, I'd like them a day older than that, but this is perfect. Not seeing any bugs. See, they go all the way down. All over, so. show you how we cut them off you're gonna to want to cut them off right where they go into the woods into the wood I'll show you with this one right here always cut I never pick mushrooms I always cut them these ones are a little bit older but they're in a good position to show you how to harvest them and there you go no bugs no nothing so I'm going to harvest all these. Walking along, got all the way to the back section of the woods. Haven't really found much other than that flush of uh, oysters. So, kept on moving. And, just found another flush of oysters. Oysters everywhere. Way more oysters than I can eat. So, I'll show you guys these oysters, but... I'm going to keep on moving, I'm not picking any of them, I'll leave them for the next guys. All oysters. Nice. Some of them are beat up, those are a little bit beat up. Look at them all. Yep. All down that edge. All down this edge. These are all good ones over here. Most of them. Yep. A couple more over there. But like I said, I have way more oysters. Got a whole bag full. I don't know. Five pounds, six pounds. Mostly water weight, but still. Can't eat that many oysters, and I really don't have a good way to preserve them, so I'll leave them for the next food. No reason to be greedy. I'm going to keep on looking and Let you know if we find anything else. Came up the trail about, I don't know, 50 yards. And guess what we have? More oysters. These ones look a little more beat up. A lot more bugs been on them. Let's 
see what else we got on this log. Oh, not nothing. It was just polypores that I'm not sure what kind. Not mycologist by any means. I know a few moist uh, mushrooms that I like to eat. And that's about it. So we're going to keep looking, let you know if we find them. Okay. Next log over maybe. Maybe two logs over. It's a possibility. More oysters. A lot of those look really good. Those are all been beat up, but looks like maybe even somebody harvested some. Those are all good. Most of them. There's a couple of snails in a couple of them, but most of them are good. Oyster Bonanza. That time of year. Again. I'm not picking any more oysters because I don't know what to do with them. It's only me and my wife. I got probably three or four meals worth here in my bag. I'll show you guys later that I harvested from the first tree we found. So I'm just going to keep on looking for something different. So most people ask, most beginners ask, how do I find mushrooms? It's all about your trees. When I come into a section of woods, I'm just trees like this, down trees like that, big trees like this, and I'm going right to them. The thing about fall mushrooms, matakis in general, sorry, bug in my head, you have to to look all the way around the tree in all the crevices okay so here big giant oak tree so we're gonna look in all these crevices because they could be anywhere I'm not sure what these are if somebody knows comment down below and let me know but uh, you got to look in all these crevices there's some more of that stuff I'm not really sure what it is some more here not turkey tail, I don't know what it is. So, you gotta look all the way around the tree, all these crevices. You gotta look out where the roots grow. They might be growing on the roots. You just never know. So you gotta look in everything. All these crevices. Uh-oh. We may have a keeper, folks. That is definitely a hen question is, is it covered in bugs and spiders? I don't know. So, I'm going to put the bag down. Bag full of oysters. And I'm going to get the cobwebs out of there. Get the spider that's in there out of there. Take my knife. Let me just harvest this. We'll get back to you. Okay, here it is. It's definitely the beginning stages of a hen. I'm going to cut this stuff off. Uh, you don't want that in with your other mushrooms. You'll never get them clean. And we're going to eat it tonight. Okay, here it is. Trimmed up a little bit. This is just the base of it. It would have grown a lot bigger had I let it, but honestly, it's big enough to eat. And again, so take what I can when I can. Hopefully, we find some other stuff. Stay tuned. Here's an example of why it's important to check everything. The guy went through all this wood, that big down, that big tree, that big tree, that down log, all of this wood. All of it, nothing. There's an oyster right there. Look further down the log. 
I'm not sure what these are, some kind of polypore. And we have more oysters. These ones look older. Got snails on them and stuff. That one's been all eaten up. It's that time of year. It's just oysters galore. We're gonna keep looking, see if we can't find something different. Gotta leave these as we left the other one. Oh, I see more oysters from here. Right there. Oysters. Like I said, it's that time of year. If you're a forager and you know how to preserve these oysters, let me know. I've tried all sorts of ways. They don't dehydrate well. They turn to jello when you freeze them. I tried parboiling them and freezing them. Didn't work. Not at least to my liking. I mean, there could be people that like it. I don't know. I don't. But we're going to keep going on. There's lots of big trees. Got down trees over here. Lots of big trees all, all the way up through here. So we're going to keep looking. So, still walking along, and guess what we found? More oysters. Look at them all. Yep, more oysters. Here. Those look pretty decent. A couple of bugs, not many. These are all beat up by bugs. Like I said, it's that time of year, you just can't get away from them. Could be worse, could not be finding anything. So, somebody's gonna have a good harvest of oysters when they want them all. Maybe a big family or something. Okay, we're gonna keep on plugging and see what we find. Move to a new section of woods. It's right on the edge of the highway. Highway's right here. Right here are the cars. This is uh, basically the same type of habitat. It's uh, old growth, lots of big trees, lots of down trees. In here I can find puffballs, I can find honey mushrooms, ringless honey mushrooms, chicken of the woods. Uh, found a couple of matakis in here before. Shrimp of the woods down at that end, coral, crown, crown tip coral. So. We're going to search it out. Hopefully we can find something and show you guys. Just want to show you a little bit of the habitat. So you can see all the down trees, bigger trees, more down trees, the road. It's just down woods everywhere, big trees, big dead trees. So. Could be a little bit of everything in here. So I just had my first good score, mushroom wise, but not quantity. Not even gonna pick it today. Probably two days from now. But I found chicken of the woods. Let me show you. This right here is new growth, and that's obviously chicken of the woods right there. Just a little tiny log. I'm guessing it'll get the size of my hand at most I'm probably gonna pick that I'm gonna try to come back tomorrow to pick that hopefully it's still here like I said there's a lot of foragers a lot of foragers that come through okay so I turn around and look behind me and guess what we found yep more oysters lots and lots of oysters Lots and lots of oysters all the way up. I'm going to guess both sides. Looks like there's some old ones here, but there's also some fresh ones. Yep, there they are. Look at that. That's a good one right there. Some old turkey tail. Yep. So, whoever wants to know where these oysters are, 
and you're from Rochester and you don't mind driving a little bit, it's not very far, send me a message. I'll hook you up. Okay, so, too little too late. Kicking myself because I thought somebody would be in here in all this rain all summer. And honestly, it looks like there hasn't been anybody. I missed out on one, two puffballs, three, four. Those ones look like they've been eaten by snails. They look like they're still growing, maybe, but. Yeah, they're firm, so I'm guessing they're still growing, but. I don't want all the snail stuff on them. Dang it. Man, all last year it was lots of people in here. You'd be lucky to find a flush of oysters when you came in here last year. Doesn't look like anybody's been in here this year. The trail to get in here was all grown over. I thought maybe they were using a different way in. Whatever, let's see what else we can find. Hopefully there's something good. Okay, no score. Most of it looks like it's edible, so we're gonna go ahead and pick this one. The woods, baby. Yep, yeah. we'll go ahead and pick that. Well. Cut it, not pick it. So I'll show you what I mean. You feel it, it still feels real tender. Actually, I'm gonna cut off like this. That feels woody. Actually. No, it's all kind of gone. It's just a couple of days too old. Dang it. Uh, another sign that nobody's been in here. Well, I came in here, I don't know, a month ago after a rain, and there was people that had been in here because I found some chicken in the woods over in this area harvested. I'll show you that in a second. I just assumed they kept right on going with it because why would you stop? I mean, you get a score. That's all you really need, but I figured you'd keep coming back, but obviously I was wrong, so I'm gonna keep looking. Big, huge, huge oak. Big, giant base, so let you know if you find anything else. Run another spot. Basically the same habitat. It's uh, all mixed hardwoods. Roads right behind me. You'll hear cars in a minute. There's my vehicle right there. So we're just gonna, it's real small. Maybe 12, 15 acres. So we're just going to do a little blitz through here and see what happens and then on to the next spot. Okay, so just finished up the third section of woods for today. Nothing at all on that one. That was kind of weird. That one usually has some good ones. I mean, I just saw some oysters on a tree, but again, not more than enough oysters. So, I think I'm going to go back tomorrow. Look at that chicken of the woods. That should be ready to go. Maybe tomorrow will be the next day. And there was also found a couple of baby hen of the woods that should be ready to go. Saturday, probably. Today's Thursday. So, we'll go back and check those out when we can, and we'll go home and clean up and get some oysters ready to cook.